What's up, everybody? Welcome to Charleston Car Videos. I'm your boy Chad with Charleston Car Videos. <laughs> so, anyways, today we are inside the 2019 Ford F250 Power Stroke Diesel King Ranch. Beautiful truck. Before we head down to the Chevrolet store to take a look at the 2500 Series 2019 Tribute Package, we will get out the truck here, do a quick roundabout to let y'all see the exterior of this truck, and then we'll hop back in and head on down the road to the Chevrolet store. So, you know, there's a lot of talk going on right now about trucks. It's a big time. I mean, Chevrolet just released their new Body Style 1500 Series. And with that being said, it's got everybody in an uproar, doesn't it? It really does. You know, we put a video up online about two weeks ago when the 1500 Series RST Silverado showed up at the Chevy store. And I was blown away by the amount of views we got. Today, over 90,000. But... I was really blown away by the amount of negative comments received about that truck. You know, when I saw that truck, I said, wow, that's a sporty looking truck. So if you really want to hear me talk about that truck in the comments and everything that's going on with it, please subscribe to Charleston Car Videos. I believe it was yesterday I uploaded an 18 minute podcast show talking about that video in the comments in the truck. So feel free to go in and listen to that video and, and get in the comment section and help get a discussion started. I, I really am interested in that because I've seen so many comments and some of them, some people really got some good statements there. Some not so much, you know, people just ragging on it. But, you know, like I've said, a new truck, a new body style, it's going to take some time for you to get used to it. And uh, it definitely seems to be the case. So anyways, we got a couple people on right now on the live stream, so feel free at any point in time to say hello and uh, put a quick comment up on the screen, say who you are, where you're from, do you drive a truck, Chevy, Ford, Ram, Toyota, whatever it may be, and uh, yeah, be a part of the team here on Charleston Car Videos. It's a great community, and uh, I'm doing the best I can to build it up and, uh, and keep the ball rolling here on this channel. So each day trying to do live streams, do podcast stuff and do car reviews on new and used stuff so stay with us on that anyways let's take the camera down real quickly and hop outside and take a look at this gorgeous f1 or f250 king range because that's what we're in so here we go with the iconic King Ranch logo right there, you have your side steps that drop down automatically for you. It's pretty cool, right? I mean, this truck has so many awesome features on it. It really does. I mean, this is like luxury in its finest by Ford. And uh, that's what I've been talking about a little bit lately as, as trucks have really started to change a whole lot. I mean, trucks used to be back in the day, get in, get the job done, throw your stuff in like an old F-150 here with a long bed, four wheel drive, which that one looked like it rolled over one too many times. And uh, let's hopefully everybody was okay that was in that car accident. But trucks have definitely changed a lot from this body style back in the day and how that was built and how that was done and how people used them to this over here, right? I mean, that is just beautiful, right? It really is. So that is a gorgeous truck. And, uh, you know, Chevy's got a nice looking truck as well. Ram also has a very luxurious truck, but this is definitely something special right here. Now, when you wanna buy something special like this, you're gonna have to spend some money for sure. I mean, this is not a cheap truck, right? You're going to spend a lot of money owning a Super Duty King Ranch F250 with that seven or 6.7 .7 liter Power Stroke diesel. And we're talking in the upwards of $80,000. Now, one thing I like about this dealership right here, Ravenel Ford, is when you say, when you hear dealerships saying, oh, we have upfront pricing, you know, all this kind of thing. Let me tell you, when you hear that, I want you to go in the car lot and tell me if they got something like this right here. This is the real deal when it comes to um, upfront pricing for customers. I mean, they really give it a breakdown right there in your face. 80,415 for a King Ranch is retail, MSRP. There's a discount of 46,44, 42. 
75-773-98 over invoice, $500 rebate, puts you at $75,273. This vehicle has no ADP. You know what ADP stands for? Added dealer profit. That's right. This is the added dealer profit sticker. We don't have them, right? No rust proofing, paint sealing, undercoating, closing, dog fees, etc. Such items are used to mislead customers, giving more markup to selling dealer. Beware. Not a lot of dealerships going to put a sticker like that on their window but there's a lot of dealerships that will have that adp sticker that added dealer profit sticker and i'll tell you one thing that's a bunch of baloney with that added dealer profit sticker on those trucks but ravenel ford they're not about doing that and the chevy store that we're getting ready to ride down to they don't do that either so no dock fees no processing or admin fees it's just upfront pricing right a brand new 2019 silverado rst came in brand spanking new you know new body style everything the first one we ever got it was already with a yellow or orange sticker on it like that with already a discount in a 98 over now one thing i've always noticed I always wondered why Ford, you'll see this when I take us down to Chevy in a minute, you'll wonder why, why is it that Ford has so many big incentives and discounts and Chevrolet doesn't? Even on, look at this folks, this is a 2019, so this is a brand spanking new 2019 King Ranch F250, already 46.42 discount, $500 rebate, 500 more with Ford Motor Credit. Why is that, you know? I don't know. Please let me know in the comments section. Get in there. Let's get started and talk about this. You know, why is it that Ford already has so many discounts on a 2019 that a Chevrolet does not? You'll see it when we get down there. Chevy just doesn't have a whole lot of incentives on their new things. So this truck is well equipped. Backup cameras, definitely check a look at that. I mean, you got multiple camera views, 360 backup. You got a camera view. I mean, you hold on a minute. I like how you can actually use the camera without being in reverse. Check this out. I mean, good gracious. Is that not nice? Okay. Oh, here we go. There we go. Let's switch camera views around, right? So we had a lady that sent us some messages on the channel last night, and I hope she's watching this video today because she would like to buy a Ford F-250. Um, her, her partner, her girlfriend, I believe, is, um, is going to be a traveling nurse. So they're going to travel all over the countryside while her partner is being a nurse. And uh, she reached out to me last night asking about trucks because they want to buy a nice truck to travel in while they're on the road while she's being a traveling nurse. And she kind of made her um, made her mind up a little bit saying, you know, I think I want to buy a King Ranch F-250. So that's one reason why we're doing this live stream today for that young lady to, um, to take a look at this video because I'm going to show her this truck and then we're going to go down to the Chevy store and I'm going to show her a Chevrolet truck because basically what I had told her for the money, of course this Ford truck is going to cost more than the Chevrolet, but for, for her and her partner being able to travel and do everything they want to do, I think the Ford truck is going to be probably the perfect truck for them to have traveling all over the place. You know, I mean, all these camera views, there's just so many cool features. She was asking about all these auxiliaries up here. As you can see, all these different buttons, there's six of them in total. And basically what I was explaining to her is, is if you have a fifth wheel hooked up, whether it's a streamlined trailer back there or a mobile, this, that, or the other, you know, you can hook up cameras to the auxiliaries. You can hook up your lighting to your auxiliary. Um, there's all kinds of things you can hook up to these auxiliaries here if you need to do that. You got home link, LED interior lighting, sunglass holders, I mean, Another great feature she's really going to enjoy when you're on the road a lot, and especially if you're basically traveling all the time, is this 110 volt, 400 watt max outlet here. That's a great feature to have to plug in and get the job done with there, and then you get one in the back as well. So for the ladies, if you need to do your hair, you know, you can plug in that straightening iron and uh, you can do your hair while sitting right in here. You know, you got nice big mirrors, big old lights in there and all that. So anyways, let's look through a couple comments. We got five people on. Thank you for the one thumbs up. And uh, we got low fuel. Uh-oh. Anyways, this truck is perfect, but I'd rather have the F-150 FX4 King Ranch, not the F-250. 
I totally get it, Jeffrey. Yeah, the um, the F-150, probably a little more uh, reasonable for uh, for most people. You know, not everybody needs an F-250. The only reason I'm in the F-250 is because that, that lady had commented last night about the F-250, so I thought we'd show her one today. And I'd like to go show y'all the tribute package Silverado 2500 uh, that we have down there. So that's why we're in this truck. But... Um, I did ask her. I said, you know, what is your uh, what is your reasoning behind wanting a F two fifty? You know, I mean, she may not need a F two fifty truck. I mean, you'll save a little bit on fuel economy buying an F one fifty. And you know, for her, I'd like to show her a truck real quick on the lot before we head down to Chevy. So come on and take, let's let's take a ride. Because she may not need this much of a truck, you know? Um, depending on what you're doing, I mean, the only reason you're going to need an F-250 is if you got a big old load in the back that you're going to be hauling. And uh, if you're not going to be having a fifth wheel on the back, you might not need an F-250. An F-150 will still tow plenty. I mean, you got plenty of power behind the wheel of an F-150 truck. But one I'm going to show her real quickly here is a F-150 diesel king ranch that's right a diesel king ranch ford just came out with their diesel engines in the f-150 trucks so prior to this year you could only get diesels and f-250s and above but now you can get a diesel engine in an f-150 i believe it's a 3.0 liter diesel so it's definitely not going to be a 6.7 liter power stroke but you can still get that diesel power inside of an F-150 now, which is pretty cool. So, you know, Ford's opening it up, giving you more options on your truck, more engines and all that, which is pretty nice. You know, they already have the uh, the EcoBoost, which is twin turbo, six cylinder, V6, twin turbo, or a V8, and now you have the option of getting a diesel. So let's take a look at that real quick, and uh, I'll let you see what I'm talking about. And uh, the truck we're going to be looking at is coming up right there, that white one. Actually, yeah, now that one's a platinum, but I'm going to show you some of the differences here. So again, let's look. After discounts, 75000 273 okay so remember that or 80,000 let's just say 80 grand retail because she might not be buying out here she may be buying at a different dealership and uh, you may not get all the special incentives and everything at that store here's a well, hold on that's gas well, let's just use this one let's just use this one for a um, example right this is a f-150 lariat what a power stroke turbo diesel okay now of course it's definitely not, not the big boy truck. You know, that's a big old truck, right? Yeah, so, you know, that might be one thing. You might be thinking to yourself, well, I don't know. You know, it's like, I like the F-250 because it's bigger. It sits up higher off the ground and all that. So, you know, if you get that in mind, that's fine. You know, some people just like that bigger truck. But this is still a beautiful truck. Maybe not as big because it's 1500 series instead of 2500 series. But you're still getting your LED lights and all the nice, beautiful features that the F-250 offers. But you're going to be saving a lot of money, okay? Again, 3.0 liter V6 turbo diesel. We're talking a retail price on a diesel truck of 66,120 after discounts 61,592. Okay? So, I mean, you're going from $80,000 to 66,000. Now, again, that's a lariat. Let's say you want a uh, a platinum, right? Maybe you want a platinum with a 5.0 liter V8. Right? Maybe so. Maybe you don't want the diesel. Maybe you just want the, the gas engine. So, a platinum well, here's the EcoBoost 3.5 V6, 66,000, 60,000, 930 after discounts. So looking at that stuff, let's see if we can find a diesel King Ranch, right? Something with a diesel motor. Again, you don't have to get a diesel. There's a Platinum, 65,000. But let's just look and see. Here, okay, here we go. Perfect. Here's an F-150 King Ranch. Get a good look at it, right? Beautiful truck. 
FX4, just like that guy I mentioned a minute ago. He said, I like the King Ranch FX4 package. That's the truck right there, y'all. That's it all day long. Beautiful truck. Still got the side steps that retract down and out, you know. Established in 1853. Got a retail price of $68,680. After discounts, you're at $63,53. Thousand dollar rebate if you finance a Ford. So, 10 speed automatic. That one happens to have a 3.5 EcoBoost, but you can get it with a, um, you know, you don't have to get the EcoBoost. If you want a V8, you can get a V8 in it. Now, here's a pretty one. There's a black King Ranch. We don't see too many of those all the time. That's pretty. You know, a lot of times I'm filming these white King Ranches like that right there, but the black is a little bit different. I was excited to see the black one today with a gray bottom. That's a good looking truck. Here's another King Ranch FX4 little different color combination white with the bottom gray right there um still got it now that's that's a diesel okay so here's the perfect example if she wants to buy a diesel king ranch f-150 here you go price tag a little bit more seventy thousand nine nine five after discounts sixty six one one four so seventy thousand seventy one grand basically msrp it's got every bell and whistle possible on it. Very nice truck. Then you're talking down here with your F-250. You're talking 80,000. So 10 grand difference in price. So when you start breaking that down into car payments every month, $10,000 is a lot of money. $1,000 is about 20 bucks a month on your payment. So 10 grand, what are you talking there? 20, 40, 60, 80, 100? You're talking... Wow, you're talking $200 difference a month. I mean, that's just a roundabout number, but 200 bucks more for 10 grand more, but that's a lot more truck, isn't it? It sure is. Beautiful truck. Wow. Beautiful. 2019. I mean, after discount, 75. So we'll talk $100 difference in price. Anyways. So it really, you know, it really comes down to uh, what you want, right? I mean, that's the main thing. You know, do you like the height, the size, the power of the F-250? Do you need it though, really? You know, think about that really hard. Do you need this much over here, right? I mean, I had a friend of mine that, that wrecked his diesel Chevrolet truck. It was like a 2013. Uh, 2500 series Silverado and uh, he had it for a long time and he he finally got really close to paying it off and he got in a car accident and totaled his truck about four months before he totaled it he had to replace the transmission in it and that was like seven thousand dollars right there so he put a bunch of money into this 2013 truck then totaled it oh my god I think he had a he had about two grand or so left on paying it off. Luckily, when the truck got totaled, the uh, the the bank paid it off, and he put about I think it was they, they got he got around twenty five or three grand in his pocket, you know, extra, and he put that down on the next vehicle, right? So, anyways, um, I tried and tried and tried to get him to look out a Ford. He just couldn't do it, you know. Uh, we test drove Fords, we test drove Chevys, but the thing is, is some people are diehard Chevy and will never change over to a Ford and the same vice versa. But, um, you know, he just had to have that 2500 series truck again. So he bought himself, he didn't get a new one, he got a, um, what, what year was it? It was still an older one, it was like a 2015 or, or I think it was even older than that, y'all. He ended up getting like an older body style Chevy Silverado. Not a, I done got the whole story screwed up. His truck before, I take it back, was a 2003 Silverado 2500, that body style. He ended up financing a 2005. So he still bought an old truck, you know, and I told him, I'm like, dude, come on out here and get a nice truck from the dealership, you know? and get you a certified pre-owned with warranty and all that. He ends up going to some small little dirt lot truck store, you know, just one of these small little car lots, get, ended up getting high interest rates and ends up, you know, buying a truck, a diesel truck with already well over 100,000 miles. 
I think damn truck had 200,000 miles. He's ended up paying, you know, $500 a month on a truck payment on a 2005 Silverado 2500 series. Wasn't even with leather. I mean, just a basic work truck crew cab. I mean, it's just insane, you know? And that's the thing, folks. Trucks are expensive. They are. And if your credit is not that great, you're going to be spending a lot of money every month on a truck payment. That's just really what it comes down to. So anyways, let's hit the road here, right? We're just going right down the street to the Chevy store to show y'all the Silverado because I want y'all to get a look at both of these trucks. Now, this young lady, I haven't been able to speak to her on the phone or anything, so I don't know if she's owned trucks before or, uh, or anything like that. And maybe she's in the stream right now. If so, feel free to comment. But like I told her last night, if there's anything I can do to help you with your buying decision, just let me know. So hopefully this video will help her out a little bit. Because, you know, it costs a lot of money to go buy a truck. And you want to make sure you're making the best decision possible for you and your family. Man, this is big, big, big. Let's see what kind of power we got behind the wheel on this. Oh man, that's nice. It's definitely, uh, you know, it's a heavy truck. I mean, it's huge. but nice. Well, Hurricane Florence has is gone. So we don't have any more hurricanes out there right now. Now this is nice. This sits up nice and high. You got a lot of window space in here. I mean, you can see out good. You got big mirrors. It's comfortable. You got heated and cooled seats. Um, this is a nice riding truck right here today. Now, Chevy makes a nice truck, too. So we're never going to say Chevy's a bad truck. They are very nice as well. It really comes down to, uh, you know, all the different features and stuff. To me, it just seems like Ford has got a lot more going on. There's a big old Dually Silverado just came by. But again, my message to her, the lady that talked to us last night, is this right here, is why do you need a F-250? You know, will you be towing something very heavy and large? If you're going to have a fifth wheel hooked up back there, I get it. But if you're not going to be towing anything and you're going to be, if, you're, if your girlfriend is going to be a um, traveling nurse, most likely you're going to be in hotels or corporate apartments and things like that unless y'all really want to have a big camper on the back and uh and you know each city you go to load in at the local campground and all that if that's what y'all want to do then i understand but a lot of times my my cousin is a traveling doctor and he is always on the road traveling being a doctor all over the east coast and west coast and uh you know like he told me most of the time he is in a corporate apartment or a hotel or something like that because he could be in that city for a month, two months, three months. All right, we're at the Chevy store. And let's go find the, um, let's go find the tribute package Silverado.
if we can find it. This car lot's a little bit of a mess right now because it was all moved around due to a hurricane. Oh boy. It really is a mess. I don't even see, okay, well we're gonna have to make our way down here. All right, let's shut her down and go ahead and hop out. All right, we got anybody with us right today? Yes, we do. We got seven people on the live stream. Thank you for joining with us, everybody. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this stream. Let me read through a couple comments before we get out. Um, last minute video says, if there were one workhorse car, would you drive into an apocalypse? What would that be? <laughs> Hold on a minute. F-150 Raptor. <laughs> that'd, be a, that'd be a good truck to roll into an apocalypse. The Raptor truck would definitely uh, probably hang pretty tight. You know, now, um, another truck I think would be a nice truck to go into a uh, end of the world type, end of the world type uh, atmosphere would probably be a Chevrolet Colorado ZR2. That might be a good truck to do it in because it's not too big. It's not too heavy. It's a little bit smaller truck. And um, it's still jacked up a little bit where you got some ground clearance. And if you look at the video I put up yesterday, the Colorado ZR2 Bison, that might be the truck you want to go rolling in there with. Um, the Raptor's a nice truck, though, too. Anyways. <clears throat> but if, if you're going to have anything to go through a, an apocalypse in, you maybe want a Jeep or a Hummer. That might be a little more, uh, that might be a little bit different. Get you a nice Jeep or Hummer to roll through there. All right, let's see if we can uh, find this find this truck. So here's a Chevrolet. That's a 1500 series Carolina edition. That's a $49,000 truck right there. But we're looking today for our for our tribute package truck that would be something comparable to the F250 that we're driving in right now and as you can see with the american flag blowing right there the two trucks the black silver and i believe the white those are tribute package silverado 2500s ltz so uh, when you're looking at a chevy if you want to get a truck that's higher trim level kind of like a king ranch you're going to want to go with the ltz package for some of y'all newbies out there noobs as my kids will call them and uh, that's your tribute package beautiful truck um, it's not going to have as much fancy stuff on it as your ford will um, it does have a price tag of seventy thousand two fifty, and then 98 over invoice is sixty six thousand six ninety. okay it's a 2019 it has the allison transmission with the duramax diesel motor but it's definitely a beautiful truck. Um, I'm loving the front end on it. And uh, I really like this front end. The, I like it better than the, uh, the new 1500 series. But again, I haven't seen the new body style on a 2500 series truck yet. So anyways, those are what you're gonna have with a Chevrolet. But the front looks great. It really does. It's very pretty with all the chrome. That looks nice. Got those big projector bulbs there. Um, your Ford is gonna have all LED headlights. I mean, everything is LED. Your Chevy, not so much. Z71, got the nice big mirrors. Crew cab. If you can tell there, there's some vinyl graphics which display a American flag flying through the side. The same on the black. Looks pretty good. So anyways, does got leather interior does got a nice big center console i don't have the keys to these trucks right now but what it says here is 2500 series four-wheel drive crew cab um 6.6 .6 liter v8 turbo diesel um da -da 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 good safety ratings of course chevrolet always has great safety ratings but um i was looking for fuel economy but there's no fuel economy uh information on the windows sticker for some reason But this is basically what you have. If you're going to be looking at buying a Ford King Ranch truck 
and you want to compare a Chevrolet, that's going to be the one you're going to be looking at in the 250 to 2500 series. So hopefully this helps her out a little bit on her decisions. You know, all I can tell you, at the end of the day, your best your best thing that you're going to need to do after watching videos and researching is to actually get out there and go to the dealerships yourself. So, you know, don't always take my word on it or take another person's word on it. Get out there, go test drive the truck, see what you think about them on your own. Okay? You know, and if you go to a Ford dealership, get with the sales guy, said, hey, let's drive down to the Chevy store. You know, pull in the Chevy store's parking lot and get out and compare them side by side. There's nothing wrong with doing that. If you're at the Chevy store, go down to the Ford store. You know, your salesperson, there should be nothing wrong with you and your salesperson driving down to the competition's dealership and hopping out in the parking lot out there and really doing a good comparison of the two trucks. You know, if the sales guy walks out from the other store that you just pulled into, you know, just say, hey, this is what we're doing. We're looking at trucks. I wanted to compare them. Would you mind going getting the keys to this truck right here so we can look at both of them side by side and uh, have a little fun with it, right? Both sales guys will get out there and show you the trucks. And hey, at the end of the day, you'll make a decision and at least you um, took the time to compare both of them together. All right, everybody, that's about it. Hope you all enjoyed. If you got any questions or comments, go ahead and put them up on the screen now before we end out the live stream. Today we're gonna to be filming the uh, new 2019 Chevy Traverse. So uh, we got that going on. And man, it's hot outside. It is definitely hot. Can you make a video of a Ford Mustang GT? Because I am really interested in the car. Yeah, Joel, we'll, we'll definitely do that. We'll, we'll make a video on the Mustang. I haven't filmed a uh, filmed many Ford Mustangs in a while. So it's about time to do that. We did film a Chevrolet uh, Camaro a couple weeks ago, a ZL1, which is really nice. But yeah, we haven't done anything with a Mustang in a while. And um, we need to. So I've been waiting for the 2019 Mustang to come in. But, you know, I think we got a GT in 2018 down there. So uh, we'll see about filming one of those and get y'all's input on that. So thank you for the, uh, thank you for the request. Thank you, Joel. I appreciate it. Please uh, subscribe to the channel. Hit the thumbs up button. And uh, I hope y'all are enjoying some of the podcast type videos. I appreciate everybody's, uh, you know, input. And I'm really thankful for everybody subscribing. You know, this channel's been around a long time, since 2011. And, uh, you know, it's taken a long time to get anywhere with, um, with subscribers and, and all of that. But this past year, 2017 and 2018, has been really good to me. And uh, things are really rolling pretty smooth here on the channel. So I appreciate all y'all's time. Have a great day, everybody. We're in and out the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think. And, uh, hey, we'd love to see you back again on the next video. Let me know if you enjoy the live streams as well. If you're watching, get down there in the comment section. We'd love to see more people joining in on the live streams on a daily basis. We'll see you then.